Hello, what's up everybody? This is Ton Ton here and today I welcome you back to my channel with the review of Transformer Wolf of Cybertron Earthrise Elita 1. So she's a Stitch character, but why does the Earthrise Netflix include her? It is because spoiler alert at the end of Siege, she is some one of the few Autobots who chose to stay back in Cybertron instead of leaving for Earth. So that is why we have Elita 1 as a Earthrise character, so it is might be that she's gonna return in Earthrise. I don't know her now. And first and foremost, I wanted to show you is this is a Cybertronian sport car. We've seen this mode before with the G1 RC. So she's done in a bright red color with some clear details, and also the wheels are made of clear plastic. But it is a little hard to see at this angle, so I'm gonna try to show you. As you see, this is a clear plastic. And we have a some detail. This is painted, painted, and we have a white Autobot logo over here. The cockpit section is really nice. Actually, you have a seat which is painted in gray, and we have some molded details of a wheel and the interior of the car as well. Unfortunately, Elita one here, the same SRC, is a shell former, which means that when you turn her around like this, you can see that basically she is a Bending, and then the car is on the upside. And accessory-wise, she only came with a pistol, which made it the same clear blue plastic. I'm gonna zoom it in so you will have a better look of this pistol over here. And as you can see, it is really nice. Upon that, and of course, we still have some really nice red color paint plastic. Personally for me, I'm not too fond of this red color scheme right here. It is because it kind of makes her look kind of cheap. And I, 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 I guess you know what I mean here by saying it look kind of cheap. Because the color is some kind of like a low quality red plastic. It is not like the upper and better plastic such as some other Earthrise figures. And also the gun can be put stores in this mode by attaching to either one of this port by this tab over here and so yeah, you got some weapon storage and personally for me this looks stupid because I just hate this idea I guess if they could find some other way to mount it the gun somewhere down here it would look way more better than this one. what we have over here so closing in for some size comparison here we have Alita 1 with some Deluxe that's it, with Mirage Then as you can see they are quite on the similar size Over here Mirage is a little bit longer I'm Gonna bring her back and this is with Siege Ironhide As you can see Ironhide is way more bigger than Alita 1 and finally, I'm gonna bring in Earthrise Optimus. And I kind of like the way they scale next to one another. That is quite interesting to see. Moving on to transformation. So the first thing I want to do is to remove this pistol over here. Here we have it. Put it aside. Now you're gonna see her whole body flipping out already. First, upon transforming Elita 1, you will want to bring out this section over here. And actually fold it up like that and then you can turn around and just bend out the limbs of her like that then at this point you can bring out her arms like so and bring this whole section out so you can collapse this two piece Oop. and at this point here you can bring out this back section by bringing this tab up. Then you can bring this whole section up. And as you can see here, you got this two hole and tabs over here. So you could just tap it in like this. And we are done. Here we have Alita 1 in her robot mode and I must say that this is a really great robot mode considering that she is a remote from RC but I think this better suited her than RC herself 
and I'm gonna go into the details now. First off, I must say I'm a gift. Takaran has more really high credit for recreating this head sculpt for the show. This is a really nice head sculpt with characteristic with the eyes and the lips. And I guess in the Cybertronian biology they are called Kaminoan, so they are like kind of the female transformer. So they are more humanoid and I prefer this. If I'm bringing RC now as you can see here. RC is more plain. RC face is more plain than I would prefer her to be. And comparing to Elita 1 over here, I gotta say I give Elita 1 the credit for a better head sculpt. Next up is the whole torso section of Elita 1. As you can see over here, her body is really nice and with all this curve here. And I really enjoy this aspect of her. It makes her look more of a female transformer than comparing to this square chest piece of RC. RC can go into the trash can now. I would definitely prefer Elita 1 at her section here. Other than that, the colors of her is really beautiful and I enjoy this so much. Now I'm gonna take out this backpack section here because it just looks stupid to me. So by pressing this, you can remove the backpack section. And so they will form a base for you. Bring this section down like this. Bring this two up and you got an action base, a standing base to do this, so this will be quite useful but late now. So we got the base here and it is quite a plain piece of car upper section. And you actually can stand Elita up, so by positioning it like this and it will go into her holes onto her feet like that. So you're just gonna plug them in, somewhat like this. And then this other way around, it's gonna stand it like this, and yeah, she's a little bit taller. I'm gonna bring my camera up so you can see. She's quite nice like that, and yeah, that's so you can consider that is one of her accessories. And also, I'm gonna bring her the gun right now. So the gun is simply locked onto her arms like RC, and that will be just it. So I'm gonna bring in RC now. And here we have RC comparing to Elita 1. As you can see, both of them are the same figures, only with minor changes. The first is the colors, and then we have the head sculpt, which is different. The chest section is different. And a little bit different on the waist, as you can see comparing side by side. Other than that, they are the same figures with the exact legs and arms. And I gotta say, I quite enjoy their legs and arms so I mean that this is basically the normal figure's arms without any mechanical details but I mean to me they still look great and I think I'm gonna jump into a little bit of the painted so Elita 1 is actually painted more than RC with RC this is the plain plastic colors but with the Elita 1 I feel like they give her a little bit of color here and there especially on the thigh section here because it's a different white uh, to be honest, I would prefer how Elita 1 looks to me than RC, so RC is better go get the hell out of here. As you can see, Elita 1 gun is a similar gun to RC, but as you can see here, they use two different kind of plastic. So Elita 1 is more clear than this one. And to attach, you can attach it simply by plucking it onto her arms like this. So you can do the pew pew bang bang stuff. Uh, you can store it on the same way with the vehicle mode, which is here or here. And you can also plug it onto your ass like this. Or uh, if you are right handed, so I think probably the better way to store it would be this, I guess. But then this would look a lot more dumber than I would expect it. And so I wish, I actually, I wish that they would do some gun storage onto her thighs or something that looks better. Articulation wise, Elita can turn her head around 360. She can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. This is movement with the arms, this is strictly limited. This is, it is hardly to raise because she got this spike here on her shoulders and it tends to collapse with this section over here. So, not a lot of in and out movement unless you open out a little bit and you gotta 
nearly full rotation. You've got a bicep swivel on the mushroom joint, you've got a single jointed elbow, and you've got some hand movement like this. She got a waist swivel here, the same as RC. Her leg is really great. She can kick up that far and kick back that far. And her split, unfortunately her split is quite limited due to this design right here. She got a thigh swivel and she got double jointed elbow. So, and she doesn't get any pivot but she got a feet movement. Articulate should go, I think Elita one here is somewhat a, a limited piece, not too great. Because this is a figure, not solely a transformer. But I think that she could look great by just the pose of standing up to the base they give us. So I would still recommend her. Size comparison Y. Here is Elita 1 with Deluxe Earthrise Rouge. As you can see, they are the same size, but Elita 1 is a little bit taller. Here she is with Siege Ironhide. As you can see, the small is the commander of the bulkier one. Here is with Earthrise Optimus. And I just love how they scale to one another. Really shows me that they are a couple. And that could be it for today. So what do you guys think of Alita 1? I think that she's a fine character that was to be collected. 